Hi, today we'll be learning to paint this cute puppy using gouache. Uh, this is uh, the other ones that I have created in this series. You can view the others in my um, YouTube channel. There will be other videos which will be there. Here, first thing I'm going to do is draw the cute face of the puppy. You can create it in the way you like. I have made it in a slightly cartoony style and um, I'm going to create like some patches on the face. So the first thing to do is to mix our colors and the ceramic palette that I'm using on the right side it's not baked uh, because I handmade it um, using um, hobby clay and I absolutely love how it has come out and this is the first time that I'm using it um, after a really long time. Uh, you can see there are some stains of some other colors that I used before of Acrylex but I really think that um, these kind of palettes are perfect for gosh so I'm quite excited um, of how uh, it looks so um, I think that's that's the fun part about painting for me uh, all of these um, other accessories which are there uh, while I'm painting. I'll probably put up a video of how to create uh, palettes like these soon. Um, I haven't baked them which is why it will stain quite a bit um, but it's okay because it's not going to stick onto my paint so that way it's pretty fine. So the colors that I have used is a blue and I'm using the Brewster gouache and you can see um, the background looks so good there's a little bit of shine right now uh, because there's light but otherwise once it's dry uh, it is completely matte finish so uh, this is the main difference between acrylics and gouache acrylics is um, not matte finish at least like most of them are not matte finish there are some which are uh, but most of them are not they have a little bit of shine to it i prefer a kind of a matte texture so i really like working with gouache for that so I'm creating a really nice background and then we will go on to creating the outline for our puppy. We'll also add in colors for the patch near the eye. I'm going to add a brown over there and then the ears will try to add a little bit of pink and then we'll go ahead uh, for the tongue and then do the outline. If there are specific things you would want me to teach you, um, do leave comments over here and uh, I would love to create videos of the different kinds of things that I teach and that I know. Uh, so I'm basically an artist who um, does realistic art. Um, I do a lot of paintings. I do use medium of charcoal, oil pastels, watercolors, acrylics, uh, gouache, uh, except oil paints. Oil paints is the only thing I think that I don't have patience for. But um, I do most of the other things. I also make digital illustrations and uh, paintings. So I'm. I love love art so if there's anything specific that you would like me to uh, work on please um, feel free to leave it in the comment section over here and if you're new to my channel um, do consider subscribing i put up a lot of tutorials of um, art forms for beginners intermediate level um, and i also do a lot of reviews of art supplies and um, of the things that i really like the things that i use so even in that space if you want me to create any specific videos you could leave your comments over here so I'm using a brush now to create this um, outline. Um, if you're not very confident, then uh, one tip is to just have like a sheet of paper right next to you and then um, use the brush, create a few lines on it freehand and then come on to your painting. Uh, but it's okay if you make some mistakes, it's fine. Um, that's I think the best way to learn. Uh, so don't worry if something goes wrong in your painting. It's the process that you should enjoy a lot more. Um, so that's more important. So I was thinking initially of giving a um, um, spectacle on top of the puppy face but then I thought it I think it looks nice this way so I'm going to add like a background pattern right now um, in, in most of the other ones I create like a cross or a plus so in this one I'm creating like nice uh, dots Gosh, also dries pretty fast but depending on the kind of brand you're using and um, the kind of amount of water that you have added uh, to mix your colors please make sure that the base is dried and then you add this now another thing is don't press it too much don't try to rub it in otherwise uh, the the blue at the bottom will react with the white and it'll become light blue so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial when you create it do tag me on instagram thank you